Uh, I don't know, Danny, what else should I ask Meg? Move. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Danny Spanks, the interview has begun. The reason that I had Robin do the interview with Meg initially is because I'm a big Meg fanboy. I worship Meg. I think that Meg <laughs> is one of the greatest artists I've heard mm -hmm. in such a long time. The new album is a masterpiece. Yeah. Um, Robin asked about the difference between the last album and the new album. And I think the work that you did with Leggy, as far as a producer, mm -hmm. really made that the new album Take Me to the Disco just sound huge. Yeah. So can you talk about working with him and that whole mm -hmm. process? Oof. Uh, the process. The process. Because uh, uh... I'm curious about you as an artist yeah. and as a songwriter. Yeah. You have an idea on... Where you're coming from as far as the song, yeah, and then how to bring it to life even mm -hmm. more. Yeah, yeah, but it's all different, you know. Like we like wrote, we, we I I had a few songs already like, written, and then I brought them to him, and he would make them sound the way that he thought they sound, which should sound. So like I brought some songs to him that were pretty like folky, like light sounding, and he right. made them sound darker. Um, it was an interesting process because it really was a for, for both of us a connection back to our early days, uh -huh. like of, of discovering music, um, back to our teens. Um, what was like, what, what was the hardest song? Like what was the hardest song for you to write on this album, and what was the easiest? Because um, I feel like as I fanboy for me, <laughs> because I know all the songs from the album. When you were, after she did the sound check, I went up to the dressing room. I'm like, hi, Meg, it's Danny, just want to say hi. <laughs> and then I talked her ear off about, oh, so track number one is Take Me to Disco. And then you got Tear Me to Pieces and Jealousy. And you got Numb and blah, blah, blah. So I totally fanboy. But anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, yeah. What, what, because there's like this element of the new album mm -hmm. that knowing some of the stuff you went through professional, uh, professionally and personally. Yeah. Um, that really seems to come through on the record. Yeah, I mean, Numb was a pretty tough one. It wasn't tough to write, it was just tough to, like, I was on Atlantic at the time, mm -hmm. and um, that was my label before the label that I went out. Um, that was a, we wrote that, and it was this whole thing of like, this is gonna be the radio single, this is gonna be the thing that, you know, and so we had to like kept we had to keep going back and like reworking it and like it got it got even brought to other producers it got brought to and it ended up going back to us the original thing but like that was I think that was the hardest one because we wrote it we knew what we wanted it to be and then we had to like mess around with it and it started like making it not good you, if you mess around with it too much you know like it's good I think it's good to um, to look at things and see how we can make it better because you can always make things. Better possibly, mm -hmm. but it wasn't going in the right direction that I wanted for the album to, uh, and for the single to be. And it's just it's it's supposed to be like a '90s rock song sort of vibe. It's so, it's a great rock song. Yeah, thank you. And it's like there there are little bits and pieces when I first heard that song, like I can be your next big thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like. Yeah. Okay, wait, so knowing what happened with your label, yeah. I'm like, is that what I think it is? Right. It's and then you them, listen yeah. to the song, yeah. and it's just really cool. And knowing the reason that song was written and the intent made me like it even more. Yeah. But here's the thing. So, we're like geeking out. I'm like geeking out, like talking to Meg about um, <laughs> music stuff or whatever. Okay, so the first time you were in the studio with yeah. me, yeah. okay, we talked about some of your, your musical influences. So long ago, I, can't I know, really but um, one of your musical influences or one of the people you admired was Tracy Chapman. Oh, so yeah. And, and for a split second, me and Meg Myers did a duet, a fast car from Tracy Chapman. What? We started singing. That's awesome. I started singing Tracy Chapman, and you joined in. Fast car. Fast enough, we can fly away. We gonna make a decision. Leave tonight with him and die this way. So I remember <laughs> that, right? Yeah. But then, so this new album, Take Me to Disco, you have the duet, Death of Me, with yeah. Leggy yeah. singing on the album version. Yeah, I forced him to do that. I forced him so to do that. So before he was not into that. knowing this show was coming up, <laughs> knowing this show was coming up. Yeah. I've been rehearsing. Okay. Can you sing it? I, well, I, 
I'm not a singer. I'm not a Meg Myers. But <laughs> I just want to see if this works out like I imagine it in my, okay. in my head. Because people are wanting... Okay. Do you remember when you were young? Back before you built a wall out of a heart of stone, no one can save you, we are on your own. Holy shit. That's really good. You're supposed to come in on this part. That's really good. Don't give up on yourself so too soon. If you're looking for a deeper love, drop down inside. There's nowhere to run, there's nowhere for you to hide. We need to do that!